Oh, if I go like this, I look kind of cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, why are you always zooming? I have sweat mustache. My name is Bailey Sarian, and I'm here to give you a review slash tutorial on the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This palette will be available September 18th. Has 18 colors, eight matte shades, six pressed pearls, three duo chrome toppers, and one pure glitter. It's a great palette for daytime, nighttime, a glamorous look. And the colors are based off of a desert landscape, like at, you know, at um, sun, on, on sunset. No, like at a sunset. Shut up. It's a sunset landscape, beautiful palette. I created this look with it. It's pretty, it's kind of easy. <laughs> so let's do some swatches and then we'll get right into the tutorial. If you just wanna skip to the tutorial, I'll leave a little number right here letting you know where to skip to so you can just skip to the good part. Let's get, oh, I'm supposed to say, don't forget to subscribe and stuff. Everyone's telling me I have to say that. So don't forget to subscribe and stuff. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm gonna swatch with my finger, I'm gonna swatch with my brush, and then on the metallic or the, the satin shades, I'm going to swipe also with a wet brush, a damp brush. So the first one is Desert Sand, and this is a matte, and then I'm gonna use my brush. This next one is Musk. Eden. And we have Amber. Blood Moon. And then this one, I'm gonna get my brush wet. This next one is Ode, or uh, we don't know. It's a matte. There. Pretty. This one's really pretty wet. So that's the first row. The second row, Celestial. We'll just like tilt back, back and forth, you know how they do. Nefertiti. And then I'm also gonna wet the brush. That one's pretty. Twilight. Ooh. Amethyst. Not impressed. Royal, ooh, pretty. Retrograde. So this is the second row. Super pretty when wet. Brush on its own, kind of not impressed, to be honest. Cashmere, cashmere with the brush. Cashmere wet. Angelic. This one reminds me of Nars Orgasm. Ooh. Cosmo. Cosmo is that pressed glitter. This one broke the first like two seconds we opened it. With this one, I would probably use a glitter glue base or a glitter glue primer because it's it's not really gonna show up with these brushes. Gorgeous. Turkish Delight. Saffron. Really close. And the last one is Blazing. And that's the third row. Ta-da! So this, this one right here, obviously not like good at all for swatching with a brush, your finger or wet. I'm gonna try it with a glitter glue base and see how it performs. I honestly like a lot of them wet or with my finger versus the brush, but we'll, we will play with it and see. Thank you to Ashley, our beautiful arm model. So I already primed my eyes with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, and this is in number seven. I like this as an eyeshadow primer because it really neutralizes the lid, so you get a really nice color payoff, and it's matte and waterproof. I'm using a, a blending eyeshadow brush. This one is from Crown Brush. 
I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's called Eden. It's like a peachy matte shade, or I should say right on my brow bone. Going back and forth, doing little circles. I'm gonna do one eye first, because I feel like I waste less time. This one is a Smith 247 brush. It got a little stain from one of the eyeshadow looks I did. And let's do blazing. This one's gonna come right into my crease. I just come back and forth into my crease. I'm gonna switch back to my blending brush and just lightly blend out that shade into Eden. How do you say this word? Amethyst? Amethyst? Amethyst. With a stiff all over shadow brush, this is the Urban Decay Flat Eye Shadow Brush and Am Amethyst. Amethyst? Words aren't my thing. I'm gonna put this on my lid, coming up towards the crease. I forgot, I always forget I have the skin tag right here. Um, I think I should get it removed, but it kind of makes like metallic shadows look not that great. So I always try, that's why I use mattes a lot of the time. People always ask me like, what the hell is on my eye? And it's kind of annoying. So I'm just doing the outer, lid and then the, the center in here and then obviously leaving the middle open. If you get too much shadow and you end up like going all over the lid, you could always just take concealer and mute it out in here. This is a Luxie 151 brush. I'm just gonna blend the edges. Saffron, this matte red shade, and this is a Luxie 141. And this I'm gonna put right in like the corner right here just to deepen. Add some drama, like the outer V, and then right in here. I don't know the technical name of this like corner area. There's a name for it, I just don't know it. Hmm. It's not as dark as I want. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, O-U-D. Oud, Oud. Okay, I want this to be a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna just blend that. So I'm gonna go back to my Smith 247 brush and then just lightly blend and soften. So I'm doing little circles and going back and forth. I am taking a small concealer brush and I'm taking a little bit of the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer that I use as my eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna dab this on the center of my lid because I wanna make a little bit more space right in here. I'm gonna use the shade Twilight, the shade right here. I'm gonna spray the brush with my MAC Fix Plus, dip it right into Twilight. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom. So let's take Amber with like this Smith 247 brush. I'm gonna come along my lower lash line right in here. I have a bunch of fallout, but I'm just gonna leave it there and not acknowledge it. It deserves none of my recognition. Blazing. I'm just layering it pretty much over what I just did to add like a two-tone. I don't really know. I don't have a rhyme to my reason. I just do as I please. With my Lexi 151 brush, this shade right here, Ode, someone will let me know right here on the edge and then right in here. Amethyst, layering that right on top. Concealer brush first with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, just right here in the center. my Makeup Forever 226 brush, Twilight. I just kind of keep going back and deepening and blending and softening until I like it. So I did both eyes, I look really creepy right now, but I'm gonna take a makeup remover wipe and then just clean up around my eyes because I got a lot of fallout. And then I'm gonna come in and finish the rest of my face. Be bright, 
Bah. Um, so this is the finished look with the rest of my face and with eyelashes and all that. So the eyelashes I have on are by Ardell and they are the Studio FX Custom Layered Eyelashes. Ardell, they make my favorite lashes hands down. And then lip, because I know a lot of people will ask, it's the MAC Oak Lip Liner and Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Ophelia. And I'll leave the rest of my face in the description box below, or the details, I mean. Overall, with this palette, um, it's okay. I mean, honestly, like the Cosmo one, it completely just fell apart when we first opened it. Like, didn't even get a chance to really try it. Um, I don't know, like, I'm not, it's okay. It's okay. Would I buy this? Probably not. I would honestly go with the Sephora Pro palette because I've been really liking those ones. But it's your call because I feel like everybody has certain techniques and primers and everything that can make a really big difference as far as performance of the shadows. But right off the bat, it's just okay. It's a pretty like pa palette and colors, but it's just okay. I am underwhelmed. At this point, I feel like the um, industry is just so oversaturated that there's so many new products. There's tons of different brands. Like you just have unlimited options and we kind of like are, it, the uh, the market is so oversaturated that we kind of like it set our standards to kind of like an unrealistic expectation. I feel like we expect the best of the best of the best. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyways, I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day today. Make good choices, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm. Ah! Look how cute you look with your t-shirt. This is Bob. He poked his eye. He's a badass. Me and Bob on the back of a motorcycle together. Gapingholes.com. <laughs>